In this video, we're going to indicate the region satisfied by these four inequalities. Okay, so make sure that when you draw this, uh, you're using a ruler. Okay, got mine ready. Um, right, let's crack on then. So, when you draw these, just ignore the inequality for the time being, okay, and just think about y equals x. So, we need to draw on the line y equals x. So, we'll try and do this as accurately as possible. So, I've got to have it going through 0, 0, and I'm going to choose 3, 3, okay? So, they're all um, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, so they're all um, full lines and not uh, dashed lines. Okay, so all solid lines. Okay, so there we are. There's our first one. Now, now let's worry about the inequality because we want to identify and shade the region we don't want. Okay, so we need y is greater than or equal to x. Now, the way to check any inequality uh, to determine which region you want, uh, if you're not 100% sure, is to just choose a point that's not on the line. So let's choose this point here. So 0, 1, and we substitute it into the inequality. If it holds, then that region we want. So y is greater than or equal to x. So if the y value is 1 and the x value is 0, is 1 greater than or equal to 0? Well, yes. So that point is in the region we want. So we want to shade the opposite region, the region we don't want. So that region there. Okay? Right, that's the first one. Now, if you want to, um, as we go through, you know, if you've got space, then it might be useful just to kind of like identify those inequalities as we go, so that uh, it's then easier to identify if, if we need to use them later, okay, to find the intersections. So y equals x is that one. So let's look at the next one. 2x plus y is equal to 2. Let's draw that. So um, for this, I'm going to try when x is 0, y would be equal to 2. So I know it goes through that point there. So that point there. And when y is 0, x would be equal to 1. So it would go through that point there. So going through those two points... Let's draw a line going through them. OK. And next job is to determine which region should I shade. So let's choose a point that's not on the line. Let's go with 0, 1 again. So uh, two lots of 1. Sorry, two lots of 0, rather, plus 1. Is that less than or equal to 2? Well, we have 1 is less than or equal to 2. Well, that's correct. That's right. So that point is in the region we want. So we want to shade the region we don't want. Like so. OK. So we've got that. And let's label it, shall we? 2x plus y equals 2. OK, then we've got x is greater than or equal to 0. So x equals 0 is the y-axis, and we want when it's greater than or equal to 0, so that's to the right. So we shade the region we don't want, which is there, and that's the x is 0. And lastly, we've got x take away 2y is less than or equal to 1. So uh, when x is 0, y will be equal to minus a half, so there. And when y is 0, x will be equal to 1, so that point there. So draw a line going through those two, like so. 
So that's going to get a little bit confusing if I label the y equals x there. So I'll label it here, y equals x. And this one is x take away 2y equals 1. And we want to identify which region we're looking for. So let's choose a point that's not on the line. Let's go with 0, 0 this time, shall we? So we've got 0, take away 0. Is that less than or equal to 1? Yes. OK, so the above the line is in the region we want. So we're going to shade the region we don't. So it turns out this one, the last one that we've just drawn, is actually redundant um, because it's actually not cutting up the region that we'd already identified at all. So it's not affecting it in the slightest. So actually this inequality here is redundant. We don't need it okay, to actually identify the feasible region. And that can happen with situations. Okay? So we identify that this triangle that we have here is the feasible region. So because it's quite small, I'll label it as FR. So this is my feasible region. And so any point that is inside that triangle will uh, satisfy all four of those inequalities.